गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू राम यंत्र वाट इज राम यंत्र एक्चुअली दिस राम यंत्र इज सिस्टेड हियर इन जयपुर जंतर मंतर एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल ऑब्जर्वेटरी एंड दिस राम यंत्र हैज टू पार्ट्स ए एंड बी एक्चुअली यू सी this ram yantra is surrounding by the pillars and shape looks like cylinder and you see same size all pillars but between two pillar is certain distance here so this is part a and b part is over there so actually you see this is distance between two pillar is gap so same size pillar of this gap is over there that side and here there is pillar so same size of this pillar is gap that side so these are two complementary and why made two parts because to walk inside for calculation so that is the rama yantra b it was constructed in 1728 please don't confuse that is repaired 1891 ad tested by jyotishi Jyotishi mean astrologer, astronomer Gokul Chand Bhaman. After restoration, he tested working correct or no. So there are function. How function is? Please see the central, the pole. Sun is over there up, and the pole shadow coming down now. You see, shade is down here on Earth. We see here. the shed lying here the shed lying here on the earth between these two pillars so actually scale graded scale is on the slab on this slab here this is the scale you see here but when shadow falling down here in between it mean that side in second part it would be on the slab so now we are going to see there in second part so this is rama yantra second part complementary okay so Now please see where is shadow. Shadow is now here. So friends, now you see what is function of this Rama Yantra. Really looks very simple, like a bucket, one circle, but really very interesting. So. You see, this is surrounding by pillars, and uh, uh, there is a scale. And please look number on the top. This is divided in 360 degrees. And you see here these more markings from top to bottom, divided in 90 degrees. These are numbers. Up is zero, then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. That is thirty. It is thirty-five. That is forty number. It is forty-five. Then here fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety. Then you see the first thing: 
height of this pole height of this pillar and same height is of this pole you see center pole height of the pole and height of the pillar is equal like this you see very equal that's the pillar and center pole also same height parallel height now see morning time when sun rises that side you see pole shadow is now here but early morning when sun is low down shadow would be there on the top so zero degree sun angle is zero degree very flat now see gradually sun getting up coming up in the sky like this till the noon so this shadow moves down angle increasing number increasing this side up is zero and right now the shadow is there that is number 25 26 27 28 29 degree and point at 29 point at nearly 30 degree so it means right now sun is 30 degrees above the horizon in eastern sky so till the noon the shadow goes up then back so when sun is uh, western side shadow moves opposite side so morning hour this side and afternoon there but you see why these are more slabs 360 degree because friends our earth rotates itself on its axis that is something like this rotation of the earth 24 hour 23 hour 56 minutes 4.9 seconds almost that's why we have that leap year also so friends when earth rotates the shadow changes makes round uh we look in the sky and uh, sun appears morning is that side then noon is here evening is there we say sun changing position from east to west because earth rotates so this shadow makes round and now see this side i show you there is a zero point there look so this line there is actually that is actually so friends right now shadow is there but every day 12 o'clock noon when sun is in mid heaven suppose morning time sun rising from this point and evening time sun getting down here sunset here this point so 12 o'clock noon sun is there on the meridian so there is mid heaven so when sun is on meridian this is meridian line zero degree on the top you see there is zero point this is zero after zero that side please see number 10 20 30 40 50 divided in 360 degrees so you see here every day at noon when sun comes on the meridian this pole shadow comes here at this line every day at noon till o'clock but friends now we see two days in the year 21st march and 23rd september sun is exactly on the equator so 12 o'clock noon two days shadow is right here 21st march or 23rd september these two days at noon 12 o'clock pole shadow comes here but now see six months after 21st march sun is northern hemisphere goes up till the 21st june so when sun is northern side after 21st march every day at noon slightly shadow comes down 21st march april may and 21st june the shadow comes here exactly here at noon 12 o'clock 86 and half degree angle of the sun at noon 12 o'clock in chepot look here please if sun is overhead that is 90 degree but never 90 degree in chepot that is 86 and half degree there at noon 12 o'clock 
21st June sun comes here. And from here, Jaipur is three and a half degree more far because latitude of Jaipur is 27 degree. So from equator, sun comes 23 and a half degree here. No 27 degrees. So three and a half degree less 90 in Jaipur 21st June. So 21st June, it is 86 and a half degree angle of the sun. It's there and shadow here. And after 21st June, again, shadow would be longer. So June, July, August, and 23rd September again here. And after 23rd September, when sun is southern side, so now see, shade would be longer. So 23rd September is here, then October, November, and 22nd December here. So this line, 22nd December, this point. So that is Tropic of Capricorn. So friends, from equator 23 and half degree north, 23 and half degree south. Suppose this is the equator line, that is zero degree. So from here, distance of that point, that would be 23 and half, like zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23 and half, that is Tropic of Capricorn. And 22nd December here, then again shade comes down, 21st March on equator, day night equal. And then from here till that, again you calculate this, it is equator zero degree. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and half degree. This is Tropic of the Cancer. When shade is here, that is longest day of the year. When shade is there, it is longest night of the year. But in northern countries, in southern countries, in New Zealand, in Australia, opposite. Here is longest, there is, here is longest day, there is longest night. 21st March and 23rd September, always shadow is here, that is equinox. So in Jaipur, when sun is on the equator, 21st March and 23rd September, it, it makes angle 63 degree. 21st March and 23rd September. 22nd December, 23 and a half degree low, 20, uh, 39.5 degree. And 21st June, 86 and a half degree. 23 and a half degree, this side 23 and a half degree. So every day at noon, 12 o'clock, when shadow is here, we are able to calculate what degree sun is north or south from the equator. You suppose this is central line of the equator and shadow is longer. So from here, you see what degree shadow is longer? That would be declination towards south and when shadow is shorter, you calculate what degree is shadow is shorter. That would be the declination angle of sun towards north. So by this remarkable instrument, every day 12 o'clock at noon, we can calculate the declination angle of the sun.